this scene. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just it breaks the universe. So this is the Holdo maneuver. Holdo does light speed into the fleet of the First mm -hmm. Order. Not only does she kill the main ship, she kills the multiple support ships behind it. This mm -hmm. is such an overpowered suicide run at light speed. Why aren't we making, why isn't anybody doing research on new weapons tech using let's, light speed? Let's see it in action first. Let's see it in action. Okay. Boom. Oh my gosh. Like, sp it's devastating. Just everything in a cone behind it. Like a few, a few miss it, a couple, but large cone, a large solid mm -hmm. angle, just everything in there. Just right. Cone. And considering she used one ship that's actually not that large to take out how many are we looking at here? We're looking at the main ship plus at 15, least 10 others. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Just the I mean, incredible weapon. You, you would just do this all the time. You you yep. get like an engine plus a lead block and like a, either a pilot if you have to, or just an autopilot. Sure. Sure. I mean, you could make also little missiles out of it. You get a little yeah, light speed thing on it, a little missile. Do little mini ones. Yeah. You could do, there's all kinds of things you could do with this. And it's, Gosh, the light speed engines are probably. as small as possible and you make a shotgun. That's right. I mean, if the light speed engines are expensive, it's still worth it because the amount of damage it's you're able to do is so it. enormous. Look at all these people hold or kill. It's going to take them 20 years to get them trained up to be a soldier again. Get, like get the next generation up. of people. Yeah. But in, in the Rise of Skywalker, that one guy does say it's a one in a million shot. Okay. That means it's unlikely to actually have happened. So so if it's, if it's an actual one in a million, like that's an actual number and not just an estimate, then I would make a million. <laughs> I would make a million yeah. ships. If it was, if it is actually like 10 million, I would make 10 million of them. And so mm -hmm. then one of them is going to shoot through here and mess up the ships. Like, sure, that's great. I, that's what I'll do. I just man, right. mass manufacture this. Right. So if it's in the if it's one in a million, I think you could overcome the probability, the low probability of one in a million by just mass manufacturing missiles, ships, and stuff that are ready to sacrifice themselves to attack a fleet. I mean, heck, a baseball at near light speed—that's sure. lots of damage. Sure. So, but maybe in the Rise of Skywalker, when that guy said one in a million, he really meant. One in a huge number. And if it's like one over... I see. Okay, so like the, the number of combinations of a deck of cards is 52 factorial. Okay. Which is, is an incomprehensibly large number. It's just so big. So if it's like one over 52 factorial, then it's never going to happen. If it's one in a million, it's overcomable, maybe. So... So what you're, what you're saying is, so in, in the last, no, no, in the Rise of Skywalker, a guy says, like it's at a one in a million shot, and that's how they say, like, we're not going to do it again. Yep. But you're, so you're saying, like, what if it's not actually a one in a million, it's a one in a big number. And since he's a human brain, like, mm -hmm. if you visualize $1 versus $10 versus $100, okay, a thousand, like, dollar bills, like, okay. But once you start getting into 10,000, like, what is it, what is $10,000 stacked up? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. like. And then at that point, 1 million, 10 million, like a 2 billion, like it's all just mound of money. Like, I don't know how to yeah. visualize it. So you're saying that this guy, maybe he didn't actually mean one in a million. He meant it's a huge number and it's totally not doable. But so, I guess, so, so that means he's, he's the, the expectation this would work is exceedingly small. That it's, it's not worth be, pursuing. It's be, right. It's got to be so small that it's not worth us developing, researching, building your tech but also big enough for us to know about it, right? Because if it's super mm -hmm. small that if no one's ever seen it, it wouldn't even be on our radar. Like nobody would right. know about it. And it has to be large enough that it actually occurs here. Because right. if the probability was one over 52 factorial, it's never gonna happen. Yeah, But you, you wouldn't even try it. So it needs to be small enough that it's not worth pursuing, but large enough that you see it every once in a while. Which means Holdo would not have expected this to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if she wasn't using it as an attack? She was just trying to jump. <laughs> She's just like, because right? if it's a one in a million chance of yeah. this being an attack, that means it's 
every other percentage chance that this is just your way out. That's right. If so, the fleet's going this way, I'm going to turn around and go the other way. So she plays politics on the ship to make sure mm -hmm. that she gets full credit for the escape. Full credit. Full credit. And then she's, she's a coward and she's running away. And she wants everybody to think that she died. Mm -hmm. And so she runs away. And she's completely leaving that life behind. But, but it actually accidentally does this. Yeah, and she got a whole maneuver named after her. <laughs> They think it, the people in the rebel, uh, in the rebellion, think it's a heroic sacrifice, but actually, she was running away. She was actually running, and she, and she got lucky, or unlucky, depending on who you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, either way, I mean, the, the logic's tight. If 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 yeah. it's an insignificant chance of this being an attack, then it's probably not going to be an attack. She's banking on it as an escape. Mm -hmm. So I think with this, so in summary, in order for this not to break the universe, the probability of this working has to be low enough that yeah. it's not worth pursuing for R&D, mm -hmm. high enough that you see it every once in a while, mm -hmm. Holdo is a coward and running away, and accidentally caused this to happen. That's our explanation. Logic's tight. That's yeah, well, I like Logic's it. Tight. I like Logic's it. tight. But I don't like Holdo, so it's even better. <laughs> also, I don't want this to be a thing in the universe because otherwise you would just do this all the time. Right. Instead of costing human lives on bombing runs, mm -hmm. you just send blocks on engines. Yeah, and I guess the Empire would stop making, or First Order or whoever would stop making these large bulky ships because yeah. they're vulnerable to this attack. So the Star Destroyer, the Death Star... All of that would just be out of the universe. I guess I would still have destroyers and they would still have TIE fighters for close range defense. Yeah. But other than that, I'm just bombarding people with these rocket engine faster than light missiles. Right. I would make ships that just hold these faster than light ships that just as soon ah, as I see is. something, I deploy it's, them out. You'd have two destroyers that mm -hmm. work as an escort for this, like, I don't know, carrier that just mm -hmm. deploys out these missiles. That's right. And I had to have I would have a person on the different ships aiming the missiles remotely. Or maybe even automated. I, mean, I don't we've know. We've got droids in this we've got droids. That's right. Did One droid per. Yeah. We got we got targeting computers, sure. Sure. Easy. You're telling me a Star Destroyer doesn't have a server farm? You don't even need one droid per. Just put it up in the cloud. I mean that's one of the reasons Star Destroyer is so big is maybe to have Massive computing power on board. It's mostly server, the entire, the entire thing. It's just all server. <laughs> it's just a roving cloud. 